Hi everybody, Gary Francione for The Abolitionist Approach. Imagine you're walking down the street with someone and you encounter two houses. One house has two people in it and one house has ten people in it. A person that you're walking with hands you a hand grenade and says you have three choices. You can not throw the hand grenade at all and not kill anyone or you can throw the hand grenade at the house that's got two people or you can throw the hand grenade at the house that's got 10 people. And if you throw the hand grenade at the house that's got two people, we're going to praise you as being a human rights advocate who is saving human lives. Now, think about that hypothetical for a second. And I think you, you'd conclude that if that sort of thing happened, uh, it would be most peculiar and it would be really strange to say that if you throw the hand grenade at the house that's got two people, that you're a human rights advocate and that you're saving human lives because you don't throw the hand grenade at the house that's got 10 people in it, when of course you had the choice not to throw the hand grenade at all. How odd. That's exactly, by the way, what some folks in the so-called animal movement are promoting. I recently saw a short video uh, uh, done by the outreach director of Farm Sanctuary. And he's actually promoting the idea that you can save animal lives. You can be a good animal person by eating beef instead of chicken. Because you'll kill fewer animals if you eat cows because they're bigger and they'll feed more people. So... The analogy is exact. You don't have to kill any animals. You can be vegan. But if you choose to kill fewer animals rather than more, we're going to praise you as saving animal lives. You can be an animal advocate without being a vegan. This is the position that is being promoted by the outreach director of Farm Sanctuary. Now, his argument for why we should do this is he says, well, the vegan movement has failed. You know, we've been, he, he claims that for decades we've been promoting veganism and it hasn't gotten us anywhere. I have news for him. There's never been a vegan movement. There has never been a movement that has promoted veganism as a moral baseline, ever. Certainly not in recent times and certainly not amongst the large groups in the United States, Europe, South America, and other places. It hasn't happened. These organizations all promote veganism to the extent that they do at all. They promote it as a way of reducing suffering, along with cage-free eggs and crate-free pork and reducitarianism and meat-free Monday. It's never presented as a moral baseline. So here we have the outreach director of Farm Sanctuary trashing veganism as a moral baseline, saying that we should be promoting eating cows instead of chickens, and that we ought to do it because there's never been a vegan movement. What confused thinking, what species is thinking? These large organizations do nothing but promote animal exploitation and promote happy exploitation. It's just terrible. And we should reject it. Veganism is easy, and it is the only morally coherent thing to do if animals, if animals have moral value, veganism is the only coherent response. We ought to engage in creative, nonviolent, vegan advocacy. We always ought to be clear that if animals matter morally, we have an obligation to go vegan. It's not a matter of lifestyle choice, it's a matter of moral obligation. If people hear that message and they're not ready to go vegan or they don't want to go vegan yet, they will choose whatever interim steps they're going to choose. But we should always be clear that veganism is a moral baseline. Veganism is easy. Go to our website, howdoigovegan.com. It gives you all the answers that you want. Thank you very much for listening.